major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Green Mountain Support Services of Vermont, Washington County Mental Health, Ale Israel. Food sponsors for Ableton On Air include Geffen Foods Israel, Osem Foods Israel. Major media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, the one and only program that for the past seven years and beyond uh, focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I've always been your host, Lauren Seller. Uh, my wife, Arlene, is not here today. On, uh, we, before we begin our program, we would like to thank our sponsors, Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many others. On today's edition of Ableton On Air, we will focus on the election results as it stands. Uh, so this is an election special, and we will also focus on what Joe Biden, or as he's called, Smoking Joe, uh, will be uh, focusing on the disability community um, if he gets into office. Uh, as it stands now, Joe Biden, uh, let's pop up a map, and it will be done in editing, but as, um, as it stands now, Joe Biden has 238 of the 270 votes to win uh, for President of the United States, and Donald Trump only has 213. Uh, and it has been a landslide for Vermont, um, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, um, Pennsylvania uh, is, uh, is in deadlock, as well as some other states. Um, Florida um, had gotten won by Donald Trump, as well as Texas, um, so on and so forth. But the way it stands now, as of 6 a.m. this morning, um, we are going to be, and according to CNN, um, we are going, it's going to be deadlock, which means that um, it will probably be a recount of the vote. So, um, in actuality, you need 270 votes to win President of the United States. I am so glad I am not President of the United States. But um, let's really go into what Joe Biden will be doing uh, for the disability community if he wins. Um, let's pop that up. Okay. All right. Equality for people with disabilities, Joe Biden for president. If he wins, which most likely he will, his plan for the disability community is as follows. Um, let's go back down here. Um, equality for opportunity, full participation, independent living, economic self-sufficiency. Um, is extremely important for people with special needs, and he's going to uh, work on also um, changing the Social Security uh, Administration by giving uh, pe um, people with special needs probably more in their Social Security checks. Um, when, um, when Obama... Uh, was uh, working with Joe Biden, and Joe Biden was uh, vice president. Um, they were really working on um, health care and um, other pandemics. Um, so things are really going to change for the disability community. Uh, there are a lot of people, especially in Vermont, that are facing economic hardships, and now, um, by the way, uh, as far as Vermont's concerned, because of this pandemic that we are going through, uh, three squares 
has gotten more and um, Medicaid has gotten more and um, there are um, going to be more stimulus packages um, for, for people uh, on the national level. Uh, single people uh, get $1,200, married people get uh, $2,400. Um, today, according to the Joe Biden website, um, today our country once again is facing enormous economic challenges um, brought on by the pandemic and its impact on having businesses and workers across the globe. As President Biden will lead, they're saying he will be president, will lead an effort to rebuild our economy. Um, uh, uh, he will also uh, strengthen the disability community to build a stronger, more expansive middle class and that everyone, regardless of race, gender, religion, sexual orientation or disability can find a place. This means that amending our laws, policies, and culture to ensure that full inclusion of the 61 million individuals with disabilities in the United States in part of our society. Biden will prioritize enacting and implementing policies that break down barriers to, um, to access for people with disabilities and living and succeeding on their in their chosen communities, which means good jobs in competitive um, integrated employment, which also means probably the Americans with Disabilities Act, which was enacted by President Bush Sr. will be become, will be, will become stronger. And uh, he'll have integrated housing, accessible and affordable transportation, inclusive voting processes, processes, and needed long-term services and support. Um, Trump, by the way, wants to have more mental institutions instituted, which will, which probably, according to uh, organizations such as Washington County Mental Health in Vermont, um, many advocates there won't let that happen. Um, as President Biden will reverse the damage done by the Trump presidency and fight efforts to weaken, which fight efforts to weaken civil rights on all Americans and diligently by Congress and the disability community to expand access to needed services. Biden recognizes, according to his website, he recognizes that he needs to view all policies ranging from climate change and and Econo and economy and housing, uh, as well as education, through an inclusive lens. He will ensure. Um, he will ensure and include policy development and implementation to accomplish these goals. These goals, which include full inclusion for people with disabilities, uh, in policy development and aggressively enforce civil rights for people with disabilities. He will guarantee access, um, high access to affordable health care, including mental health, and, ex and expand access to home, uh, home community-based services in long-term services and also supports with, with most integrative uh, settings and help um, help the needs on based on self determination, um, and he will also expand competitive, high integrative employment um, institution and opportunities for people with disabilities and protect and strength. He'll uh, also uh, strengthen. Uh, economic security for people with disabilities, 
uh, he'll expand accessible integrative uh, technology as well as affordable housing, transportation, assistive technologies, and protect people with disabilities in emergencies. Um, which brings me to this. Uh, uh, when COVID first started uh, back in um, January, when services started to close for people with special needs, this really brought uh, this, the communities for people with special needs in Vermont uh, to a standstill. When we, when we first couldn't go to a doctor's office, de uh, dentists were closed, um, services for people with epilepsy were closed, now things are starting to get uh, back open. Um, Biden also wants to ensure full inclusion for people with disabilities in policy, development, aggressive, uh, aggressively, and enforce civil rights for people with disabilities. I know I'm repeating a lot of things, but this is really uh, extremely important. Um, throughout Biden's career, Biden has fought uh, for the rights for opportunities for people with disabilities, including the Rehabilitation Act of 1973, which is extremely important. I'm going to bring um, I'm going to bring that up. Uh, the Rehabilitation Act of 1973 is as follows. Let me bring that up. 1973 Act. The Rehabilitation Act of 1973, which Biden uh, really um, brought to the forefront, uh, the Rehabilitation Act of 1973, as amended, the Rehab Act, prohibits discrimination on the basis of disability in programs conducted by federal agencies and programs receiving federal financial assistance and federal employment and the employment practices to federal contractors, um, which means that anything job-related um, and the Rehab Act is as follows. Section 501, Section 501 of the Rehab Act of 1973 prohibits employment discrimination against individuals with disabilities in the federal sector, including the U.S. Postal Service, the Postal Reg uh, Regulatory Commission, and the Smithsonian Institution. So in other words, Washington, D.C. Uh, cannot um, discriminate against people with disabilities, um, and Trump is trying to do that, especially, uh, which is, you know, really horrible, especially when Trump is trying to um, uh, put people in mental institutions or he's trying to institute uh, institutions for people with disabilities, which he cannot do, um, you know. And um, so Biden is really trying uh, to put special needs to the forefront. Let me get back to that. Okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, according to his website, uh, Trump is putting a disability, I mean, um, Biden is putting a disability coalition together. Um, Biden believes that everyone uh, should be treated with dignity and have a fair shot at getting ahead. Uh, this past July 26th, uh, we celebrated the 30th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Thanks to the leadership of people with disabilities, disability advocates, um, and um, goals according to the law of the Americans with Disabilities Act, full participation, independent living, economic self-sufficiency, um, etc. Joe Joe Biden will work with um, the 61 million individuals with disabilities of the United States. And um, 
you can be part of the society again. Um, if you want to join um, Joe Biden's Disability Coalition, that website uh, is joebiden.com forward slash disability coalition. And um, as a suggestion, any president that puts back a disability coalition um, um, you know you should join uh, and anybody that that works on a disability committee um, is extremely important so um, if you get a chance put your name on that list um, so let's get back to um, to this here Disability Joe Biden. Okay. Um, getting back to what I have said before. Um, throughout, yeah. So throughout his career, um, he started the Rehab Rehabilitation Act of 1973, the Fair Housing Amendments Act of 1988, and the original uh, Individuals with Disabilities Education Act 1975, and the Affordable Care Act of 2010. Um, as President Biden will make sure these protections are fully enforced and that people with disabilities will have a voice in policy um, development. Similar to what we do here at Able to Learn Air, Able to Learn Air, we, um, ha you know, has a voice for people who can't speak up for themselves. And it's extremely important to have the First Amendment, um, you know, rights protected in this way. Um, also, to ensure uh, people with disabilities are included in policy development by creating senior positions at the, White, at the White House dedicated to disability community engagement and policy coordination. Um, Biden will appoint a director of disability policy with the, with the Domestic Policy Council to ensure, to ensure that um, people with disabilities are uh, taken care of on a broader sense with policy discussions. The senior White House official will also engage with a variety of disability stakeholders, including disability community leaders, representatives from the disability organizations, and people with disabilities and their family members. The, the position that Biden will put um, into fruition uh, that his administration is getting diverse perspectives um, and policy will be developed, implemented, and, uh, and evaluated and input for people with, dis with input with people with disabilities. In addition, Biden will ensure senior leaders across federal agencies, including the Departments of Health and Human Services, Education, uh, labor, housing, uh, urban labor, housing, and human development. I mean, urban development. Sorry, urban development. Transportation, state, and justice, and the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Um, they will share his commitment to breaking down barriers that hold people back with, with disabilities. Biden will also identify. Um, and aggressively recruit qualified people with disabilities to fill leadership positions across admin his administration, not merely those positions that relate to disability programs and policies. So he will hire pe people with disabilities in those positions. And he will aggressively enforce existing uh, rights laws for people with disabilities, including the Americans with Disabilities, 
Americans with Disabilities Act and Individuals with Disabilities Education Act idea and the Fair Housing Act, um, the Civil Rights Act institutional, in, let me repeat that again, the Civil Rights Act of Institutionalized Persons Act and Rehabilitation Act, the Help America Vote Act and the Air Carrier Access Act, Biden will keep will begin by appointing leaders of the Departments of Justice, Education, uh, Health and Human Services, Labor, Housing and Human de and Urban Development, and um, the Equal the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. That's a mouthful. Um, across, across the rest of, across the rest of the federal government, uh, of the federal government, who share the commitment to tough, effective enforcement of civil rights. Biden recognizes people with disabilities who are also um, people of color and LBG, LB. LGBTQ and also face greater discrimination based on intersection of disability, uh, race, sexual orientation, and gender 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 that. Repeating that again, Gen gender identity, uh, which. Brings me to this. Vermont just elected uh, Taylor Small, which is the first LBGTQ um, lawmaker in Vermont. Um, which we only have about six minutes uh, left. Um, and uh, we hope that, uh, you know, we're not supposed to say this as journalists, but we hope the right man will be the right man for the job. Um, and Biden is leading uh, again with um, 238 votes versus 213, and there's only 98 left, because um, you're, you're supposed to have uh, 270 votes to win, according to the map. Um, who do you want to win? Uh, basically, um, like I said, the right man should be the right man for the job. And someone that mocks uh, people with disabilities, which brings me to this, um, back in 2013, um, I mean, excuse me, 2016, uh, Trump mocked um, people with disabilities. He mocked a journalist uh, with disabilities from the New York Times. And hopefully... Um, any mocking for any mocking of persons with disabilities should not uh, be a president of the United States. Uh, we would like to thank our sponsors, um, Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many others um, for being a part of Abled and On Air and its uh, sponsors. Um, this puts an end to this edition of Able Done On Air. I am Lauren Seiler. Arlene's not here today. Um, thank you for listening to this election special. See you next time. I'm Lauren Seiler. Major Sponsors for Abled and On Air include Green Mountain Support Services of Vermont, Washington County Mental Health, Ale Israel. Food sponsors for Abled and On Air include Geffen Foods Israel, Osem Foods Israel. Major media sponsors for Abled and On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info Associated Press Media Editors 
U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify.